Okay. Well, thank you very much all for coming. This is Brightening Seas, Sinkport Liberty's semi-virtual Blessing of the Water Zoom event on June the 1st, 2021, in the presence of the Admiral of the Fleet, Lord Boyce, Lord Warden, and Admiral of the Sinkports, Constable of Dover Castle. I'm Roger Tabor, Chairman of the Blessing of the Waters Committee, Sinkport Liberty of Brightening Sea. And I give a warm welcome to Lord Borden and Admiral of the Sinkports from his Sinkport of Brightening Sea and his territorial waters in Brightening Sea. Brightening Sea is a limb of our headport of Sandwich, and Brightening Sea is honoured that the Lord Warden is again kindly taking part in Brightening Sea's historic blessing and reclaiming of the waters, howbeit this year with COVID pandemic restrictions in place that prevent a full event doing so by Zoom. We welcome the Sinkport mayors to this event from the only Sinkport north of the Thames. <laughs> Riding Sea has been a Sinkport since at least 1350 and yet geographically resides in Essex. Consequently, we also welcome mayors from the coastal port towns of Essex to this event. From the Sinkports, we welcome the mayors and mayor deputies of Sandwich, Councillor Paul Graham, Hastings, Councillor James Bacon, Deal, Councillor Chris Turner, Margate, Councillor Mick Tomlinson, Fordwich, Councillor Adrian McCarthy, and Sir John Kent. From Essex, we welcome the Vice Chairman of Essex County Council, Councillor Gillian Reeves, Chairman of Tendering District Council, Councillor Jeff Bray, and the Mayors of Colchester, Councillor Robert Davidson, Malden, Councillor David Ogg, and Wivenhoe, Councillor Andrea Luxford Vaughan. If any mayor is attending but has not been mentioned, we thank them for their presence and we ask that they make themselves known. Um, and also, of course, we welcome all consorts and mayoresses and thank you for that. Um, present we have from the Singapore Liberty of Brighton Sea itself is the Deputy and Lady Deputy, Frank and Wynne Pomeroy, plus officers and assistants to the Deputy, past Deputies and past Lady Deputies, members of the Guild of Freemen and representing the Town Mayor of Brighton Sea, Councillor Graham Chasney. Thank you all for wearing your chains, robes and uniforms of office as you would when attending the normal non-semi-virtual event. It's much appreciated. In a normal year, both Sinkport mayors and Essex coastal mayors take part in the colourful road procession through the town to the Hard. The service and blessing at the Hard and then aboard heritage boats, these dressed with flags and bunting processing along Brighton Sea Creek, anciently known as Borthleet, in the historic beating of the bounds ceremony, which goes back into the mists of time. We also welcome to this Zoom event, some of the skippers and owners from the historic fleet of timber vessels and others that each year provide the colorful dressed flotilla of boats. This year to avoid creating a crowd, which would have been in contravention with the COVID restrictions in place on Sunday the 30th of May, only one historic vessel, the Blackbird of Orly, took part, skippered by Brian Croucher, and we thank him for taking part. The time for the small party to go out onto the water to bless and reclaim Brighton Sea's water was not made public to avoid drawing any crowd. And for the same reason, the service did not take place on the hard. Blackbird was accompanied by two ribs and we thank all who took part, um, including the, those that were in their red coats, the assistants and the officer. One of the vessels that normally takes part um, is FE268 Jacqueline Ann of the Hayward uh, Oyster fishing family. And we particularly welcome Richard and his family as they're kindly providing the Lord Warden's Oyster Droit for this event. We're particularly grateful to the Bishop of Colchester for undertaking the unannounced blessing this year. And of course, for the full involvement of the Vicar of Brightling Sea, Chaplain to the Sinkport Liberty of Brightling Sea. Thank you, Caroline, very much indeed. Um, the Bishop, the Sinkport Chaplain, the Deputy, the Lady Deputy, plus some of the officers and assistants went round the town and the Bishop and Vicar blessed those houses that were decorated as if they were boats with bunting and this year socially distanced using water pistols. My Lord Warden, gentlemen and ladies, I now introduce the Deputy of the Sinkport Liberty of Brightling Sea, Frank Pomeroy. Good evening to you all and welcome to this wonderful town of Brightling Sea and this year's Blessing of the Waters and Beating of the Bounds. Let me first introduce to you our honoured guests, 
Her Majesty's Lord Warden of the Sink Ports, Admiral of the Fleet, Lord Boyce, the Right Worshipful Mayor of Sandwich and Mayoress, and all our honoured guests. The ceremony of the Blessing of the Water dates back to the 17th century, when Colchester tried to claim our waters and oyster beds. The Lord Warden at the time dec decreed the waters and oyster beds belong to Bright Lindsay. So each year we hold this event and sail out to the Bright Lindsay's West Creek nests in the boats of that time. Once there, the Reverend of the time will bless the waters and we will make as much noise as possible to let the Colsterians know that these are Bright Lindsay waters. Unfortunately, this year, like last year, we're only able to hold this event virtually due to the government COVID-19 restrictions. However, at last, now we can all see a much brighter light at the end of the dark tunnel we have been in for the last 15 months. Hopefully next year, we will be able to hold our normal celebrations of, of this event. And we, and look out for these invitations, etc. next year and come and join us. Hoping you all keep well. I only have one more duty to perform before bringing this speech to the end. It is customary of the Deputy of the Sinkport Liberty of Brightness to present Her Majesty's Lord Warden of the Sinkports with a box of dozen Brightness oysters, which is the Lord Warden's Droit entitlement. Therefore, sir, I would like to present you this box containing a dozen Brightling Sea best oysters and hope you will truly enjoy them. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, do you want me to speak now? Thank you. Ah. Well, Mr. Deputy, right worshipful mayors and uh, worshipful mayors and ladies and gentlemen, uh, First of all, Mr. Deputy, thank you very much indeed for the Dwight oysters. Uh, that's very kind of you. I'm sure they'll taste even better in reality than virtually. Um, <laughs> it has been a joy to me in the past to have been able to witness the blessing of the waters. And so what a shame, particularly on even in London, uh, on a beautiful day, or I presume, it's, I presume it's beautiful where you all are in different parts of the, um, uh, the East Coast. Uh, I hope that you, uh, I, it's a pity we actually can't be on the waters this weekend, which finally has seen the sunshine arrive after a pretty dreary May. Uh, as I say, at least uh, I have done it in, in, in reality, so I know what I'm missing. But congratulations, uh, Mr. Deputy, Roger, for sustaining this tradition, which goes back such a long time, as, as has been mentioned. Uh, it is so important that we do sustain our traditions in this country, and of course, particularly those relating to the sink ports uh, especially. Uh, and thank you, it is a relief to know also the waters have been blessed uh, and uh, I trust the Bishop of Colchester and Colchesterians are keeping their, keeping their hands off uh, for yet another year as we have performed the necessary ceremonies to make our sales safe. Uh, I do thank Roger in particular for being, Roger Tabor in particular for being the sort of, I, I suspect, one of the key drivers uh, in making us, us all get together this year in spite of the fact we can't get together in reality but not being daunted by that uh, and falling back on Zoom, which is better than nothing at all. So well done to all those involved with setting up today. Uh, and thank you very much indeed for inviting me to be present once again. Thank you. So I believe we're moving forward into the toast now, Roger, is that correct? Over to you, Kevin. Okay. Now um, the toasts are gonna to take a slightly different proceeding than usual. First of all, I'm not going to be asked you to be leaping up and down and standing. Otherwise, we'll have iPads flying everywhere and commute, computer monitors falling off and 
the mayor might break my MacBook, MacBook Pro and I certainly don't want that. So we shall remain in our seats for the toast. Um, and we've changed the order slightly to make the preamble more handy for me. So we'll go into the toast now. And can I ask those who are doing the toasts to please remember to unmute yourselves. Thank you very much indeed. So then Admiral the Lord Boyce, Chairman and Vice Chairman of District Councils. Right Worshipful Sir, Worshipful and Town Mayors, Mayor Deputies, Holders of the Deputies Medal of Merit, Honoured Guests and Friends. Pray silence if you would, for the Right Worshipful, the Mayor of Sandwich, Councillor Paul Graham, MBE JP, who will propose the toast to the Lord Warden. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Kevin. And, and, and thank you to, to you all, and thank you for inviting us. Um, it, uh, can I just echo what has been said before? Uh, you know, it, it, it's very important that we keep this tradition going. And uh, my particular thanks to Roger for, for um, making sure it happens. So I'm going to propose a toast to the Lord Warden, and it is to the Admiral of the Fleet, the Lord Boyce, KG, GCB, OBE, DL, Lord Warden and Admiral of the Sink Ports and Constable of Dover Castle. And the toast is the Lord Warden. Lord Warden. Lord Warden. Lord Warden. Thank you Lord all very Warden. much. Thank you. So then we move on to the next toast and we're very pleased to have with us tonight, uh, the Town Mayor and new Sinkport uh, Mayor Deputy of Forwich, Councillor Adrian McCarthy. We will propose a toast to the sink ports. Thank you, Kevin, and thank you for inviting me, Roger. Um, absolutely <laughs> fantastic being part of this. As you say, it's a, a huge tradition and long may it continue. Um, so please, could you raise your glasses and drink with me too? The five head ports, the two ancient towns, Limbs Corporate and Limbs Non Corporate, the sink ports. Sink ports. Sink ports. Sink ports. Sink ports. Sing Sing ports. Ports. <laughs> mm -hmm. And of course, may I ask for your continued silence for the Mayor Deputy of SAR, Mr. John Kent, who will propose the loyal toast. Thank you, Kevin. My Lord, gentlemen and ladies, the loyal toast. The Queen. 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 The Queen. 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 Now then, it turns to me, this doesn't happen very often. Mm. <laughs> Unaccustomed as I am to public speaking. To all those who take part in the Sinkport Liberty of Brightling Sea's blessing of the waters, including the dignitaries of the Sinkports and the coastal towns of Essex. I give to you the traditional toast at Brightling Sea's blessing of the waters, which is gang ho. I give you gang ho. Gang ho. Gang ho. Gang ho. Gang -ho. Gang -ho. Well, we, made through, we got through that reasonably painlessly, so that's quite good. So I'm going to hand you over now to the chaplain to the Sinkport Liberty of Brighton Sea, the Reverend, Reverend Caroline Beckett. Thank you. Thank you very much. So as you've already been told, and as some of you have experienced firsthand, we have managed a hybrid blessing of the waters this year. So some of it has been on Zoom and online, and other parts of it have been conducted very carefully and untimetabled in person. And my thanks go to a whole array of people. My thanks to our local photographers in years past and this year for your wonderful images, which have been so helpful in putting together the video. And also to those who were press ganged into photography on the day, including my dear husband, Michael Beckett, local town councillor, and also Judith Gibbons, and thanks to Adrian Gibbons for so successfully piloting us through the waters that the feed was smooth and the camera footage has come out really well. Thanks to all at the Sailing Club and the Yacht Club who were so welcoming and involved in these clandestine preparations. Huge thanks to Roger Tabor for keeping this alive. Thank and you. to Frank and Wynne who tirelessly walked around the town 
Frank particularly, in incredibly heavy robes. I have to say all respect to you, Frank, because I was struggling in mine, the bishop was struggling in his, and you had the heaviest robes of the three of us. <laughs> so it was something of a Herculean task, and well done to you. And I know it gave many people's hearts a great lift to see you. And a little thanks as well to our local ice cream parlour who provided us with refreshment at the Parkway Point, which was greatly appreciated. And to the skipper of the Borley Blackbird, who provided us with such a marvellous stage and backdrop to this year's event. And now I'm hoping very much that without further ado, Roger will be able to share screen and play to you the video that we created of this day. You are the first to see this in its entirety so far. Thank you very much, Caroline, and, and a great thanks to you for everything that you've been doing. Uh, you're, you're very much a move and shake as well, um, particularly from the electronic side. So let me try. Aha! Each year, our blessing and reclaiming of the waters is a great event when we are joined in procession by dignitaries from Kent and Essex. We bless our boats and waters. We assert our rights to our own waters of Brightlingsea Creek. With a parade of our historic boats, our rights were challenged in the past by Colchester. But with the support of the Lord Warden, 350 years ago, we retained our rights to our waters. Due to COVID, we cannot have a full event, but we are having a semi-virtual one. Next year, we hope we can return to a normal, full event. I wish you all well and please stay safe. Keep your calls coming, 0800 treble one forty forty one. But I want to talk about Brightling Sea for now. We've got a, a seriously long coastline here in Essex, arguably the longest in the whole of the UK. Some major maritime links. And this week sees a series of events being held to mark Brightling Sea's historic links with the wide blue ocean. Well, joining me is the Reverend Caroline Beckett, Vicar of All Saints and St James in Brightling Sea. Good morning to you, Caroline. Good morning. Um, Brightling Sea is one of my favourite spots in Essex. I've hoiked many a crab out of the waters at Brightling Sea. It, it's, uh, it's got a proud maritime history, hasn't it? Indeed it has. Um, we are a limb of the Sink Port of Sandwich, so we're part of the historic Sink Ports network. We have got traditions that go back centuries. The port itself, like you say, a, a historic port. A, a, a port that has made the news on more than one occasion. I mean, we've had the, the miners' issues there, we've had live animal exports, but most of the time, it's just a quiet little place, isn't it? A harbour master might not say it's quiet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> account of what he has to deal with on a daily basis but it's, it's a long old coastline for Brightling Sea as well isn't it? it stretches right I mean there's some beautiful walks sort of to the western side uh, along the, the the more rural areas and but then you've got a, this big long winding part before you get to the harbour as well 
Yes, there's quite a, a long stretch and we use every inch of it. Um, we have a lovely award-winning beach, um, which is wonderful for families in the summer. We have places to launch from. In fact, there's going to be a race today at two o'clock at the sailing club. So they're all going to be lining up on the starting line. We've got the marina. Um, we've got all of the various moorings and spaces. We've got the yacht club. And, yeah, a lot goes on from teaching young people to sail um, through to the ladies who launch, um, through to rowing and paddleboarding and kayaking and you name it. Talk us through the blessing of the waters then. What, where, where does it originate from? What's the significance of it? Uh, so the significance of it is it's beating the nautical bound. So there is an old church tradition um, that around this time of year, we beat the bounds of the parish. So you literally go around and you, and you beat the boundary stone with a stick um, and you declare the boundary of your parish and woe to those who move a boundary stone. So it's a very, very old ceremony. And it's also linked to blessing the fields, blessing the farms, blessing the crops. Well, Brightling see a lot of our edges are maritime, are watery. And so we do the watery equivalent of beating the bounds. So we take a lot of historic vessels out, dressed up to the nines with flags and so forth. That's what we do in a normal year. And the deputy of the Sink Port Liberty and our mayor and the mayor of Sandwich and the Lord Warden from Dover Castle and the Bishop of Colchester and various other folks go out to the maritime boundary, um, at the edge of our waters, where our waters meet Colchester's waters. Because I gather some 300 and something years ago, there was a bit of a dispute <laughs> over where that boundary might be. And we make a din. We bang pots and pans. We shout. We cry the boundary of our waters. We ring bells. We blow bugles. And then we lay a willow cross on the waters. We ask God to bless the waters and make them fruitful because we have a lot of oyster beds and, and various other things. And then we drink a toast in gang beer and the toast is gang ho. And so we all lift our tankards and shout gang ho. And then all of the smaller vessels will come alongside the bigger one where I am and I will bless them with some holy water. Um, and there's a sprig of greenery and I dip it and I bless the boats with holy water. Now, we can't do that this year, so I'll be going out on a smaller vessel with a pump-action water pistol <laughs> to do pretty much the same thing. He has given us the rich harvest of salvation. Bless these ships and boats, the equipment and all who sail on them, and all who would use them. Protect them from the dangers of wind and rain and of the perils of the deep. Bring us all to your harbour of light and peace. Bless, we pray you this water for the service of your holy church and grant that it may be a sign of the cleansing and refreshing of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God of boundless love, at the beginning of creation, your spirit hovered over the deep. You called forth every creature and the seas teemed with life. Your son Jesus calmed the sea of Galilee, brought his disciples to safety, and filled the nets of his disciples. He has given us the rich harvest of salvation. Bless these ships and boats, the equipment and all who sail on them, and all who would use them. Protect them from the dangers of wind and rain, and of the perils of the deep. Bring us all to your harbour of light and peace. May the saving power of our Lord guide and protect us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 I want to bless and drink the holy water, right? We bless these our waters that they may support and keep our mariners' voyages and all that fish, oysters and other denizens of these waters may flourish 
and, and remain of benefit to the inhabitants, inhabitants of the Sinkport of Brighton. Beware to any with intent on annexation to hear and know further may thou come. For these are the liberty waters of the sink port of Brightling Sea. Once more we sail with a northerly gale Through cold and wind and rain Them Essex girls with their golden curls We soon shall see again Even now the soft blue eyes look out Hoping soon they'll be able to see Our baggy sails running for the gales Rolling down to Brightling Sea Rolling down to Brightling Sea Rolling down to Brightling Sea. How warm the breeze, no more we freeze, no the cold is far astern. Our mainmast sprung, our sailing done, they're awaiting our return. And soon ashore we'll have some fun, we'll paint old Tower Street red. And awake in the arms of a lovely maid With a big fat aching head Rolling down the rightling sail Rolling down the rightling sail We're homeward bound from the fishing ground Rolling down to rightling sea Rolling down the rightling sail Rolling down the rightling sail we're homeward bound from the fishing ground, rolling down to Brightling Sea. And then we come back into the marina and the boatyards and the various places and we bless all the boats. <laughs>
actually going into the town and those who haven't been able to get onto the water because of COVID-19 were actually going around and people are giving their houses a boat name. They're putting out any small boats that they have on their driveways. They're putting boat pictures up in their windows. They're making boats out of scrap and they're coming to stand on their driveways and have a socially distanced blessing with my nice pump action water pistols. Caroline, I mean, we've talked many times about the, the impact that COVID has had and it has had many, many dark sides. But between you and me, are you actually really quite looking forward to using a pump action water pistol this year? Oh, absolutely. It was superb last year. I had people dressed as pirates. I had people dressed in full wet weather gear, getting ready to be blessed. We had people dressing up dummies on their on their lawns, making boats out of trailers and bits of scrap metal. And it was it was wonderful fun to do. But it's also one of these things that brings the community together. And when the bell sounds and the din begins and people are banging pots and pans all across the town and the sound echoes across the water and from the beach huts, then you really do get a sense of being part of something larger. And I think people still need that reminder. Not everyone has emerged. Not every age group has been vaccinated. Not everybody feels safe yet, but this is a way of just joining us all together. It sounds fantastic. I mean, it must take a lot of organising on the best of times, but to, to do it and keep everyone safe, it, it must be a, a real task involving here. Oh, it is. I mean, it's, it's actually it's top secret because we don't want to encourage a large gathering. Normally, the, fr- the harbour of Brightling Sea would be absolutely packed with people. There would be a huge procession down from the church at the end of the church service. And we would process down with all the mayors and dignitaries and pomp and ceremony and pipes and all the rest of it down to the down to the hammerhead um, just outside the yacht club where we would go off from in a flotilla of vessels. Now, we can't do any of that and we can't encourage people to gather because of the risks. So what we do is we publish part of the timetable. So a couple of fixed points. But then we we can't tell anybody the rest. And it's organised between uh, myself and Roger Tabor, who represents the Sinkport Liberty of Brightling Sea, and the deputy of the Sinkport Liberty of Brightling Sea, Frank, and his wife, Wynne, um, and Fiona at the Sailing Club, various folks at the Yacht Club. And we keep it all under wraps so that nobody really knows what and when and where from, so that these things will happen and they will go out on video but we have to be, as you say, really careful and get the logistics right and make sure that we're not putting anybody at risk. Of course. Well, we hope it goes really, really well for you, uh, Caroline. We really do. Our very best wishes for the day. hope it goes off as planned. And in happier times when we're hopefully back to a normal life, are you going to keep the water pistol and use that again? Oh, absolutely. One of the great and wonderful things about being ordained is the ability to bless things, to be able to bring God's blessing into the lives of people, to businesses, to homes and to the places where people spend their time. And just remind people that the whole earth is God's, that God loves the world, that all that is created is sacred and wonderful and beautiful. And part of what we do in blessing is affirming that. The ocean can be a dangerous place. It can also be a place of fun and beauty and marvel and excitement. And so we managed to hold those two things together. And we also do have a number of members of our community who are active sailors, some of whom are out right now, risking life and limb on the waters. And so we also take the time to remember them. And that's really important because the work they do is important. It's often lonely work. So it connects them and their loved ones and the community here in Brightling Sea. So yes, the water pistols will definitely be out and about on other occasions, and I think they might even become a little bit of the part of the folklore of Brightling Sea and our history going forward. Excellent. Reverend Caroline Beckett, thank you very much for your time this morning. The Vicar of All Saints and St James's in Brightling Sea talking about the blessing of the waters that takes place today. (laughs) 